Module 1, The Global Economy, Foreign Trade What I have learned in this lesson is that International trade or foreign trade is in different countries is important factors because it raises with living standards, providing employees and enabling consumers to enjoy a greater variety of foods. And it, it consists of three factors, which are import, export, and entry path. I have learned in Module 2 the difference between a gross national product and gross domestic product. Gross domestic product or GDP measures the value of goods and services produced within a country's borders by citizens and non-citizens. While GNP or gross national product measures the value of goods and services produced by only a country's citizens, but both domestically and abroad. GDP is the most commonly used by the global economies. Now that you already know about Module 2, let's continue to the Module 3, the global economy, foreign trade. When we say foreign trade, it allows countries to expanding the market and encouraging production. The lesson also talks about the basic principles of international business and trade. It includes international balance of payment ratios, imbalance of trading accounts, import controls, export incentives, monetary measures, fiscal measures, devaluation, managing exchange rates, and international exchange rate. That balance of trade is the difference between the value of the country's exports and the value of its imports for a given period. Whilst balance of payments, also known as balance of international payments, is the statement of all transactions made between entities from one country and the rest of the world over a defined period. These transactions consist of exports and imports of goods, services, and capital. In lesson 4, I've learned that the international marketing is the performance of business activities designed to plan, price, promote, and direct the flow of a company's goods and services to consumers and users in more than one nation for a profit. Some of the relevant factors to international marketing are given as under political, economic, social, technological, legal, and environmental factors. In Module 5 topic, the marketing plan in an international market, I've learned that an international marketing plan is a market plan aimed at global expansion of product sales and brand recognition. The word international marketing is defined as the exchange of goods and services across the national borders to meet the requirements of the customers. It includes customer service analysis in foreign countries and identifying the target market. And this includes products, sales, and promotion. I learned about market selection. It is clearly important for exporters to develop a market selection strategy which means that to state market rather than market to them market selection criteria one potential to accessibility three similarity four managing the miss what i gained in module seven was i learned the four bases for legal system in international market it gives me an idea how i must conduct or promote my marketing strategy to other countries based on their own legal system of their government to the extent that their laws will not be violated. What I gain from intellectual property rights. Intellectual property rights creates and supports high paying jobs. It drives economic growth and competitiveness. Strongly enforce intellectual property rights, protect consumers and families, and also it helps to generate breakthrough solutions to global challenges. And lastly, intellectual property rights encourage innovations and rewards entrepreneurs.